Hello friends, my name is Ishwar Dyal Mato. In my last video, I have discussed about profile and operation toolbar of Catia software. And in today's video, I am going to discuss about constraint toolbar. And I am going to also draw some profile in this software. And, and uh, there are the various profile figure and uh, this profile figure that i am going to upload in my dropbox and the uh, link of this dropbox are given in my below my description box below there you can go and click on the given link and take the download and from there you take the required profile and use this profile to draw the figures or uh, this profile in this software so let us get started with this software go to start mechanical design part design click ok select any plane go to sketch now this is a constraint toolbar so in carrier software we have two type of constraint there is first one is geometrical constraints and first one is sorry second one is a dimensional constraint so geometrical constraints its examples are tangency concentricity and parallelism vertical horizontals and others and uh, dimensional constraints uh, in here we can give the dimension of that so quickly i'm going to draw one profile and for drawing this profile i'm going to use these options and from there you can we can see how these constraints are used so I'm going to take a circle option and and it should be diameter of 92 so just I went to the this box again I'm going to show you just press, press ctrl z to delete that one again I'm going to this option and it's again it defining this diameter 105 for defining this diameter just double click on that and one dialogs box will be appear and from there you can define its radius or diameter whatever you want just take this since in this figure this is given a diameter so I have chosen diameter of 92 okay since this figure in this figure the center and the coordinate center at the same point and coincident uh, coinciding at the same point that's why this figure is giving uh, means it is in uh, green color that means it's fully constrained and this means okay so again we have one more circle since I have given the link of this profile figure below my description box you can went there and take the download and use this use these profiles to draw in the software now I have taken again one circle since I have didn't decided its diameter so and it's also position from this axis that's why it, it is not constant right now so for defining its, uh, its position just select just press control button and this center point now it is highlighting this one that's go to that box and 
click that button okay no sorry we have taken wrong option go to this option now define its dimension now okay now again take this option press control button and this point now define its dimension since we we have decided it's we have fixed this position of this circle but we haven't specify its diameter so give it also diameter now you can see it color has changed now its position is vertical is 55 55 and it's right it is distance is 32 and its diameter is 14 okay for zooming purpose either you you can use this option or press mb2 button and press one time mb3 button and move this mouse okay now again i have to draw one circle of same using same center point and i have to dis define its diameter or radius value its radius has given so, so we have to just click on that go to radius and define its radius 14 so now again go to line option take line draw this line since this are taken option tangency itself if it is not taken then how we will take tangency to this line to this circle let me show you guys how it can be possible just draw any line okay then press control select this line select this circle go to this option select tangency okay now it will be tangency to this circle okay now we have fillet or corner go to corner in my last video uh, i have discussed about this corner options so i think you have familiar about that and its radius have it is given 10 so different 10 just double click on that if you want to trim this you can trim go to trim now it will be okay now we have again here one circle and define its position press control select the axis select the center point of the circle again do the same for the horizontal axis okay so it vertical height will be 55 and its horizontal dimension will be again 32 and its 
diameter will be 40 and it is again having a concentric circle of radius 40 so go to the option this and define its radius 40 now again go to line do any line if it it is not coming straight then how to make this straight just select this line go to this option and make it vertical okay now press control this button and this circle and go to tangency okay now if you want then you can keep tangency to this circle and this line also now again go to corner go to corner go to no trim select its radius 10 go to trim now remove its unnecessary part if you want to use this some any option again and again just double click on that option okay see almost we have done one profile click on view so we have drawn profile one profile in CAD here so on this similar uh, some same similar type of figure I have uploaded in the my Dropbox and the link of that one is given below in my description box so kindly go through that link and just download some profile and you take the practice of that okay and you will be feeling confident of that and uh, i'm going going to show you one of the coolest animation in the sketcher part that our sir has taught us in our class go to a sketch draw a spline it will be any dimension no need to worry about that but draw a smooth as you can now go to automatic constraint now select all this part go to reference element select this axis now again this horizontal axis select ok ok now again go to dimension define its vertical height from this center sorry its height is given so define its this height now our figure is constrained now draw one circle make tangency with this give dimension of this circle ok now go to animate dimension select this dimension make this 0 make this as 300 take as this 100 select ok and make this as 100 and now it is running take reverse side make it loop
You can see it is running. So such type of funniest thing you can do in the Kiria software also. It is changing its color because I have not taken this proper dimension. So you should give the proper dimension if I reduce this dimension up to 70. Make it 100. If you want to increase its speed, then give side close roof. Its, its speed is also increases so such type of things you can also do in the sketching part so thank you for watching this video guys if you really like this video then give us like and subscribe my channel